Well, hello everyone. It's that time again. Yes, indeed. I have found another one. I picked up a uh, Gemtronics GTX 3000. Got a pretty good deal on it. Uh, it appears everything is somewhat workable. It needs some deoxid, of course. Uh, a little bit scratchy. Uh, even have the, the owner's manual. It's not the cleanest thing in the world, but hey, you know, it is what it is. Uh, rate, the clock doesn't work. The motor's bad in the clock. I opened it up and uh, I turned it and it's got a stiff spot in the motor. So uh, apparently it's got a shorted bar on the armature. It is what it is, but you know, overall it's pretty nice radio. Uh, it's got some, some pretty nice features on it for an old 23 channel radio it's got a automatic noise limiter uh, it's got noise blanker it's got s the calibrate for the swr calibration it's got a pa on it it's got your pa gain it's got your rf gain swr calibration delta tune plus minus and in the middle it's got your squelch of course and volume channel selector it's got an alarm clock and lo and behold you've got this alarm clock set in off there's no radio it doesn't work now it does how about that um it's got your only air light it's got your modulation light it's got the original hand mic it's, it's a little thing but hey it works and uh Let's we'll see what we can do on it. Break, break, break. Go ahead, my brother. Well, how are you doing this evening, sir? Too right, too right. Doing good, doing good. It's got some crappy grass, a little tired, but other than that, my leg. I hear you, I do. Yeah, it cut me about, uh, oh, probably about three quarters of an acre, maybe close to an acre today myself. But, uh, so the old GTX 3000 sounds all right on that end? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It sounds okay. Well, that Cobra 1000 definitely doing the job for you. It's nice and crystal clear. I'm surprised this thing sounds as clear as it does. Uh, it was really scratchy the other night when I turned it on. But, uh, hey, I'm glad glad it's working. I greatly appreciate the radio check there. And, uh, Mr. One Adam 12, we will definitely catch you another time there. Roger. Roger. Roger, Mr. Mudrugger. Roger on that. Roger on that. Yeah, how much... I'm probably going to try to do a check-in with this tonight. I'm not going to guarantee it. Uh, and especially if that skip picks up, uh, you know, I definitely won't be doing it. I uh, I hooked the old ML100 to the Craco SSB Deluxe last last week, and it, it was doing good. And towards the end, I saw the SWRs creeping up. So I don't know if there's something in that in that box, or maybe it's jumper. Who knows? But... Uh, Hey, you know, we'll, we'll see what we can do, Roger. Roger, Roger, okay. I'm not sure I'm going to be in that either because I just cut this grass, but I'm ready to take me a shower and give me something to eat and call it a day. 10-4 on that. Well, again, I appreciate that radio check. Be me, 483, UDX 483. Well, you know, I'm mud, bucket, mud, bucket, mud, bucket. One Adam 12, good to talk to you as usual, and we will catch you again, my friend. Tell Roger, tell Roger. Well, you have a blessing me, brother. My own truck will be on the side reading the mail. Bump, bump, bump. Well, there you go. It works. How well it works? Yeah, who knows? But we'll figure it out. It turns, it's, it's pretty clean. It's not perfect. Hey, probably nothing I own is perfect. I don't know. That Quad 5 is pretty nice, but... uh. <laughs> That's another story. Well, you know the deal. It's me, 483, UDX 483. They call me Mud Bucket like a bucket of mud. And, well, we'll catch y'all another time. Peace. <laughs>